Okay, sometimes on exams, I'm going to only ask you for KCLs. If I do, these are the four equations. If I ask you to set up the nodal analysis um, solution, I am expecting the supernodes, supernode expressions, the KCLs, but also the Ohm's law for each current. And that's tricky because it is, <clears throat> for example, on this 1K here, the current's going up. That means the voltage drop is in this direction here, which means we do arrow minus tail. So the voltage at this arrow here is zero. So Ohm's law for I1 will be zero minus VA divided by 1K. And therefore, I1 is minus VA divided by 1K. And that negative sign is critical there. That is what I'm measuring if you measuring or looking in an exam, if you know how to properly set up the Ohm's law. Here for the 2K, we're going to be doing the same thing because the voltage drop is this way. It's going to be VA minus VB. And then I3 is VA minus VC. And then I4 VC. So if you don't understand this, please uh, post a comment um, because I am doing the same thing as I did for I1 and I2, but I'm going around here. I5 is VG minus VF. Then I6 is VF over 6K. I7, I can't find, I7, we don't have in this equation, these equations here, so I'm not going to do it. And then I8 is VD minus VE divided by 8K. So now what happens is that we have A, B, C, let me, let me write here maybe, B, A, V, B, V, C, V, D, V, E, V, F, and V, G as variables. Maybe you're going to ask, um, wait a minute, there is a V1 here. Oh, it's V1, not V3, huh? Um, so I'm going to call this guy possibly V1 so that it is this 2V1 here that's doing it. So you're going to say V1 is also a variable. So really I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, is that true? 7, 8, 8 equations. But I'm going to say that V1 is a function of VA and VC. So it's really V1 is VA minus VC. So this expression here, VC minus VB is two times VA minus VC. So in these equations here, equation number one, equation number two, three, and then four, five, six, and seven. We're going to have these seven equations for, oops, so you can see there, huh? We're going to have these seven equations for these seven variables here. This is not one of the, the unknowns that we're going to be looking at. And the reason is it, these are the nodal voltages. So if you have a um, current or voltage controlled power supply, this does not establish a new variable in your system of equations. I hope this makes sense in terms of algebra. But now we're going to use, in the next video, we're going to use all these um, expressions, Ohm's laws, to substitute into these four equations here so that we don't have I4, I5, I6. We're only going to have voltages. And it's going to be a headache. It's going to be a system of seven um, equations with seven variables. So we're going to just set up a system of equations and 
allow MATLAB to solve that for us. So I do not require you to, of course, solve this in the exam. And you're not going to have a calculator anyway, so um, it's sort of impossible in one hour to do this. So 